Hi, and welcome to the 10-minute video summary of the message that was shared at Henrietta Christian Fellowship on the 9th of June, 2019. My name is Don Volt. I'm the pastor at the church, and for the next about 10 minutes, I'd like to share with you some of the highlights of this past Sunday's message. Uh, we're doing a series beginning uh, this week on sin. And uh, just to clarify from the very beginning, uh, the idea isn't to browbeat you with uh, how bad you are, uh, you know, but to more to, to grasp the gravity of, of sin and, uh, you know, what that means in our lives uh, and, uh, and just, you know, what God has done in response to the uh, problem that we have with sin. So I just want to start with a funny thing that I, I came across uh, just online uh, one day was a sign in front of a church and it just simply said, sin bad, Jesus good, uh, details inside. You know, and I thought, well, that kind of sets the mood for, for where we're heading with all this, okay? Ephesians uh, 1, 7 through 8 tells us that sin is the problem that Jesus Christ shed his blood uh, to save us from. And so we're just going to scratch the surface today, but that scripture says this, In him, meaning in Jesus, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished on us in all wisdom and insight. Let's just take a moment and pull that apart, okay? First of all, in him, in Jesus, we have redemption. In other words, Jesus Christ paid the price for us, okay? We have been redeemed. The cost that was associated with, with, with us has been paid, all right, and has been paid by his blood, all right, and so, uh, and, and, and the result of that was the forgiveness of our trespasses. Trespass is just another word for sins here, uh, hamartia in the original language, but uh, it, it's just, it means you missed the mark. You know, this is what righteousness is. You missed it. Okay, well, we miss it by a country mile. But uh, so that's what's been purchased for us. Okay, and it's according to the riches of his grace. Now, grace, uh, I, I just I just want to give you a sense of it here. Uh, grace is that quality of God wherein uh, he gives, okay, that there's this this outflow of blessing uh, that, that, that comes from God. And it's, it's that grace, uh, that abundant grace uh, that provides for our salvation. But it provides for a number of other things as well. But our salvation, okay, is according to the riches of his grace, not according to, to what we can do, but according to what he has and has provided for us, okay? And it says that that grace, which is so abundant in him, you know, and I think about, you know, sometimes as humans, we can be quite the opposite of, of gracious, okay? We can be uh, these little siphoning vortexes, you know, like the little swirl of water that goes down the drain, uh, you know, that just sucks everything into itself, you know, and, and God is, is different from that, okay? God is just, you know, I mean, when he speaks, it creates things, all right? Is there's this outflow that comes from him, which is grace, and he lavished this on us. Okay, that behold, what manner of love the Father has lavished upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. You know, and I think of uh, the, the prodigal son. You know, he's, he's he's making his way back, having gone out on a foray to see if he could find something better than what he found in his father's house. He's now returning uh, in repentance and coming back, saying, "Father, forgive me, for I have sinned in your sight in the presence of God, and 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 I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me." like one of your hired servants but it says his father sees him while he is yet afar off and he doesn't wait for him to get there and listen to his uh, lines of repentance instead it says he ran to him, fell on his neck and kissed him and as he's trying to recite these lines uh, about how sorry he is and how he wants to be made like one of the hired servants his father calls for a robe calls for a ring puts shoes on his feet and calls for a celebration uh, because the son that was lost and was dead is alive and is found all right and so uh, and, and that all of this was done in wisdom and insight. All right? I don't know if you've ever given something and realized, boy, that was a lot to give, and maybe you had slight regret about what you'd given. Uh, but in this case, God gave what he gave to us in salvation uh, in wisdom. All right? That this was the wisdom of God toward us, that he would save us from our sins. Uh, this was no fluke. Uh, this was the character of God demonstrating itself uh, in Christ, uh, uh, going to the cross for us to pay for our, our redemption. All right, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, and also in insight, God was not lacking any information uh, when He did this. All right, so let's keep moving. First John one five through seven. This is the message we have heard from Him and announced to you that God is light, and in Him there is no darkness at all. Okay, so that's the character of God. If we say we have fellowship with him and yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. All right, so if you have come into a relationship with Jesus Christ by putting your faith in him and asking uh, the Holy Spirit to come in and for uh, Christ to show you how to live, and you're still walking in the same darkness you used to walk in, well, it says you're lying, all right? You're, you're, you know, you're not walking in fellowship with him because he walks in the light, all right? Well, beyond that, it says that you don't practice the truth, all right? And, and just... I want to break that down very simply. 
to practice the truth means that you receive the truth, you know, and that comes into your heart and your heart and mind, okay? But then beyond that, what happens is, is that uh, what? You know, I begin to look for ways to live out that truth, okay? To walk in it, to walk in the truth, okay? And so uh, it, it says that, you know, that you, you rely, and, and if we still practice that darkness, okay, we aren't practicing the truth. But if we walk in the light as he himself, meaning Jesus himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. All right, and uh, just to, to pull that apart just for a moment, I think I can probably work at that for the rest of my life, and so can you. You know, to walk in the light as he is in the light, you know, to live our lives in a way that, that really fully uh, demonstrates uh, that we are in fellowship with God and that our lives therefore reflect who God is, uh, that we walk in that light. And, uh, and it says that the consequences of this, because we're in fellowship with God, is that we then can be in fellowship with one another, and uh, that it, what becomes celebrated amongst us, what becomes common amongst us, is that our sins are forgiven, and we are walking in this new life. All right. So if we say we have no sin, we're deceiving ourselves, and the truth is not in us. All right. And if you achieved sinless perfection this very moment as you're listening to this video, you'd still have all those sins to, to account for that you'd already committed. And so, you know, to say you're without sin is, 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 is wrong. It's a lie. All right. And uh, you're making God appear to be a liar because God said that what? We, we are all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And so, you know, that we are willing to admit that we are sinners with a problem with sin and therefore in need of a Savior is the mark of a true Christian. All right. And so, um, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous, okay, faithful and just in some translations, uh, to forgive us. Okay, so what does it mean to forgive exactly? It means to give up the right to hold this against you, that he forgives, he gives up that right. He says, I, I don't hold this against you any longer. I've given that up uh, for you. And, uh, and so he forgives us our sins, but he also cleanses us from that unrighteousness, you know, that leftover uh, that's in us because of what we have done. Uh, the, the deed has already passed, but there's this uncleanness that's in us that, that God desires to remove from us. And so, you know, you may have stopped doing uh, things, but there's, there's things about you that God is still trying to clean up, and uh, he's still trying to cleanse you from that unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. And so, just to, to very, make it very clear here, if we have no sin, we don't need a Savior. But we need a Savior because we have a problem with sin. And uh, we all have this sin problem. All right? And so we're going to spend some weeks to talk about uh, the sin problem. We're going to take a little break here and do Father's Day and that, but we'll get back to this. All right. So Jesus is the Savior. Okay, salvation is only in Him. All right, so this problem with sin, it's, it's, I don't know that it's really addressed uh, very well by any other uh, faith on the planet, but this, this Savior, Jesus, okay, there is salvation in him, but there isn't salvation in any other place. And Acts 4.12 says this, and with this we'll close. And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven that has been given among men by which we must be saved. And so I want you to think about that, just to think about just this whole thing and the impact of sin, the gravity of, of sin and, and, and uh, what it does, and about the redemption that Jesus accomplished by his blood. And then we're going to head in and take a, a little bit further look at this very important subject of sin, what it is, and uh, what God has done about it, and, and how he invites us into to walking in a new life that, that, that resists that and, and demonstrates his character instead, and there's light instead of darkness. With that, we'll say God bless you. See you next time.